Hey guys, this is Mike with Accidental Plan Studios. Got a super short time to talk about it, but I wanted to really quickly tell you about side chain compression for this Waves tutorial. It's a fancy term, basically means turning one piece of audio down based on the amplitude of another piece of audio. So for these examples, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Waves C1 compressor. Super basic, pretty transparent, and it shows a great visual representation of what's happening. So the first trick I'm gonna show you is the DJ trick. So let's go ahead and get the music turned up. Got our little jam happening. I'll mute the vocals for now. Uh, basically we got two guitars, bass and vocals, and I've got that all sent into the everything group here. Not the tutorial voice, that's separate. Um, but uh, yeah, DJ tricks. So let's go ahead and put a C1 on the music and give us some super basic settings here. Okay, so it's doing its thing, but that's not what we want. We want sidechain compression. So this button here, go ahead and click it. You'll notice now the compressor's not doing anything because we need to tell it what to do. So, on the tutorial voice under the send, now that we've activated the side chain, it shows up in our list of available routings. So, let's go ahead and turn it on. And you'll notice something cool happens. Whenever my voice gets above a certain threshold, it activates the compressor that is on the everything section. So it sounds like a DJ. Like, hey, people out there in Radio Land, we're going to listen to Accidental Plans' new single at 15 past the hour. Yeah, I'm pretty hip. And if you turn it way down, then you can really hear what's happening. It's insane. So. But that's not really musical. So let's do something musical. So we'll take that one off. Now you'll sometimes notice that guitars and vocals like to fight over each other for frequency space. Um, but you can use sidechain compression to sort of bring out the more important one while ducking the less important one. So let's put a C1 here on the guitar, the guitars. Do the same sort of thing. Bring in the vocals. Feeling good. Feeling good. So now we want the vocals Feeling to good. activate the compressor that's Feeling on the guitar. So we take a send, Feeling good. turn it on, Feeling good. and then start playing Feeling around. Good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. You know, the low, I mean, I'm Feeling going good. crazy here just to show you what's happening. Feeling but. Good. But, you know, subtlety is always handy, dandy with this kind of thing. And sidechain compression, you can also use it in like, you know, dance kind of music when you want the music to kind of pulsate with the kick drum. Um, there's all sorts of applications. It's pretty cool stuff. So yeah, uh, anyway, that's the short, 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 short version of sine shape compression using the Wave C1. There's a ton of different uses and compressors for this application though, so be sure to play around. Have fun guys, thanks for watching, this is Mike, and I will see you soon.